And very soon to the Arena Passage, we expe expect Matthew Gooch and uh, Guillaume Elias from Great Britain and France. Matthew Gooch punching there. Second runner in the men's class passing the Arena Passage. His time 1 hour 12 minutes 41 seconds, so he's a lead of about 3.5 minutes compared to Andre Metelka from the Czech Republic. And now to the Arena Passage from France, Guillaume Elias. Punching there. But he lost some time, we punched together the pre-warning with the Matthew Gooch, so he must have done a mistake here. Time for uh, Guillaume. 1 hour 16 minutes and 47 seconds, so he's 4 minutes and 6 seconds behind Matthew Gooch. And uh, at the first radio control we got a new pre-warning in the men's class. Fabian Abersold from Switzerland punching there in 17 minutes and 1 seconds, taking the lead by 35 seconds ahead of Alexandre Vernot from France. In the women's class we got a new third best time to the first radio. It's Teresa Smelikova from Slovakia. And she is 19 seconds behind the leading time there from Milia Vetaya. Milia Vetaya is out on the last loop. Running time right now for her is 80 minutes. Sharp, 80 minutes she is out there. And she is out there on the last loop for a bit more than 12 minutes. So it's not too much longer until we can expect her to the last control. Also in the women's class on the first radio we have Julia Gannon from Australia in a time of 80 minutes and 55 seconds. That's 2 minutes and 59 seconds down on the leading time.
And we can see over the field Milja Vätäjä from Finland. Her running time right now is 84 minutes, but she has to run all over the field and into the finish line. So maybe almost a minute until she will get to the finish line. We can see her there and that's long last meters. Give her a big applause. The first competitor to the finish, Milja Vätäjä, and she was running quite good, we think. And there she comes, cheered by the many coaches on the other side. Big applause for Milja Vätäjä from Finland. And Milja punches the finish right there. And it's a time of 1 hour 25 minutes and 13 or 14 seconds, 12 seconds. 1 hour 25 minutes and 12 seconds. So that's the first time to beat today. And on the way to the finish, we've got the first man, the first starter, Andre Metelka from Czech Republic to punch at the pre-morning at the last control, 1 hour 30 minutes 17 seconds. So here on the very last meter, Andre Metelka from Czech Republic. His time at the moment 1.31. And punching there. Time for Andre Metelka, 1 hour 31 minutes 51 seconds, so first leader in the men's class in the finish from Czech Republic, Andre Metelka. And we're also waiting for the next runner to the arena passage, it's Ilya Otreshko from Ukraine. He's coming here, approaching the control just before the arena passage. And time for Ilya Treshko there, 1 hour 29 minutes 33 seconds, so he's 16 minutes and 52 seconds behind the leader Matthew Gooch.
And at the Arena Passage, we have from Norway, Ranhild Eide. She is punching the control right there. And she is in second spot. One minute, 11 mi uh, one hour, 11 minutes and 5 seconds. That's 3 minutes and 12 seconds down on the leading time of Milja Vätäjä from Finland. So, Ragnhild Eide heads out on the last loop. And at the first radio control in the men's class, we also got the pounds from Stanislav Polyanitsia from Ukraine. His time there, 21 minutes, 14 seconds. So he's 4 minutes and 13 seconds behind the leader, Fabian Abersold from Switzerland. And now we also got the punch from Henrik Oas from Norway, 19 minutes 23 seconds, so he's 2 minutes 22 seconds behind there, after about 20 minutes of running time. And in the women's class, we soon expect from Denmark, Ida Oebro to the Arena Passage in the next few minutes. And she will be able to challenge the time of Milja Vätäjä. And there she comes. We can see her red dress. Yes, there she comes out to the field. Ida Ebro from Denmark and she has a new best time yes indeed she's in the lead at the arena passage a time of 1 hour 7 minutes and 35 seconds that is 18 seconds faster than the previous leading time from Milia Vätäjä And next to the arena passage is from Spain. Or we think it is from Spain. Um, Anna Defes Canichado. And we wait for her time. And on the way to the finish in the men's class, we've got the new best time here. Going on, Matthew Gooch from Great Britain. Approaching the finish. So here he comes, Matthew Gooch. Take over the lead from Andre Metelka from Czech Republic. On the last meters here, punching. Right here. And the finish time for Matthew Gooch is about 1 hour 28 minutes and 24 seconds. That's not the official time, but it's uh, quite quite the time he's been running.
And we head to the finish from France in the women's class, Juliette Bassé, in a time of 1 hour 36 minutes and 33 seconds. That's 12 minutes down and she lost most of the time in the early phase of the course, right at the beginning. And at the same time we had at the first radio control from Denmark, Agnes Kracht. Agnes Kraft from Denmark, she was, has a new fastest time there. Her time is 15 minutes and 15 seconds. That's 41 seconds faster than the previous best time there from Melia Vätäjä. And that together with Matthew Gooch to the finish, we also got Guillaume Elias from France. Three minutes and five seconds behind the leader. And soon we are waiting for uh, Miron Rulka, representing Poland, to the arena passage. Getting to the control there. The runner, the local runner from Solotun, representing Poland here into fourth position, 1 hour 29. 21 minutes and 22 seconds, 8 minutes and 41 seconds behind the leader, Matthew Gooch. And at the same time we got a new second best time at the first radio control from Sweden, Simon Hector. Uh, is time there, 17 minutes and 30 seconds, so 29 seconds behind the leader, Fabian Abersold. And also at the Arena Passage from Sweden, August Molin punching there into second position, 1 hour 13 minutes and 4 seconds. He's 18 seconds behind the leader, Matthew Gooch. And in the women's class, we soon, in the next two to three minutes, expect Siri Sutter from Switzerland to the passage. And we think she will be able to challenge the very best runners at the Arena Passage. Her running time right now is one hour and four minutes. And current best time from Ida Urbu at the Arena Passage is 1 hour 7 minutes and 35 seconds. Right now at the Arena Passage, we have from the United States of America, Bridget Hall. Her time at the Arena Passage is 1 hour 26 minutes and 5 seconds. That's 80 minutes and 30 seconds down on the leading time from Ida Urbu from Denmark. And at the same time, at the first radio control for the men from Finland into fifth position, Toko Seppa. His running time 18 minutes and 15 seconds, so he's 1 minute and 14 seconds behind. Fabian Abersold is still in the lead there.
And we can see the red dress of Sidi Suter adding over to the arena passage. She punches the control right there. And that will be a new best time. Siri Sutter running over the field. Heading out on the last loop. And her official time. We still wait for her official time. It's one hour, six minutes and 56 seconds. That is almost a minute faster than Milia Bataya leading in the finish and it's 39 seconds faster than Ida Erbu from Denmark. In the women's class, we have a new best time to the first radio. It's from Sweden, Clara Axelsson, with a new best time of 40 minutes, 45 seconds. 42 seconds, sorry. That's 33 seconds faster than Agnes Kracht from Denmark. So a very good time from Clara Axelsson from Sweden. And on the way to the arena passage now from Norway, Marius Pitten uh, into I think a fifth position there. So the time for Marius Pitten. One hour seventeen minutes and one seconds. He's four minutes and twenty seconds behind Matthew Gooch.
And we can see in the running on the field from Norway, Ranhild Eide. Give a big applause for Ranhild Eide. She is 3 minutes and 15 seconds down on the last control on leading Milja Vetea from Finland. And also on the last loop with a running time of 82 minutes, 1 hour and 22 minutes is Ida Öbru. So soon we can have her to the last control too. And Ragnhild is punching right there in the finish. Ragnhild, we wait for the official time of Ragnhild. And it's 1 hour 28 minutes 30 seconds. That's 3 minutes and 18 seconds down on leading Milja Beteja. And at the, last uh, at the last control we had the punch of Ida Oebru and we can see her on the running on the field. And this will be a new best time from Denmark, Ida Oebru. And her running time right now is 1 hour and 24 minutes. So this will be a new best time. Big applause for Ida. Ida Obro on the last meters to the finish and she will punch right there. Ida is to the finish with a time of 1 hour 24 minutes and 36 seconds. And at the same time we had on the arena passage from Sweden, Tuva Olsson. Her time at the Arena Passage is 1 hour 80 minutes and 33 seconds. That's 11 minutes and 37 seconds down on the leading time of Siri Sute. And also in the women's class we head to the first radio, Elian Deininger from Switzerland. And she is running well, she is there in third spot, 44 seconds down on leading Clara Axelsson. So Elian is with there with a good start on the first route choice and really up there in the top three after 50 minutes of running. And on the way to the finish in the blue jersey from Sweden, August Malin uh, on the way on the way to maybe a new best time. Running there. The time at the last control, one hour twenty-six minutes and twelve seconds. So we had more than a half minute advantage. Compared to Matthew Gooch on the last two meters here, August Malin.
Punching right there. And time for August Malin. One hour, 27 minutes and 49 seconds. So the lead for August. 35 seconds ahead of Matthew Gooch from Great Britain. And also in... Thank you for leaving. Also in the finish, Miron Rulka representing Poland. Time for Miron. One hour, 37 minutes, 9 minutes and 11 seconds behind August Melin. And of course, uh, we wish him good luck for the Exums this afternoon. And now... At the arena passage, Jonas Soldini, and this is a new best time, and this is a clear new best time. Five minutes and four seconds ahead of Matthew Gooch. So a very good start, a very good first two-third of the race for Jonas Soldini. One hour, seven minutes and 37 seconds. And we have from Great Britain at the Arena Passage, already running up there on the field, Chloe Potter. Chloe Potter with a time of 1 hour 60 minutes and 43 seconds. That's 9 minutes and 47 seconds down on leading Siri Sutte at the Arena Passage. Away to the finish from the last control, we can see from Spain Anna de Fes Carnicharo. She is around 23 minutes behind the leading time. And Anna punches the finish there. And we still wait for her official time. And there is her official time. It's 1 hour 51 minutes and 44 seconds. That's 27 minutes down and 8 seconds. And in the meantime, we soon expect uh, Siri Sutter on the last loop to approach the last control. That's 1 hour and 22 minutes running time. The current leading time in the finish is 1 hour 24 minutes and 36 seconds from Ida Oebu from Denmark.
And we got the punch from the last control for Siri Sutte, and she's in the lead. This will be a new best time in the women's class. Siri Sutte, you can see her over there on the field. Siri with a running time of 1 hour and 23 minutes and 40 seconds. So we think this will be a new best time. Here comes Siri, you can see her on the last meters. And she punches the finish right there. And it's time of 1 hour 24 minutes and 13 seconds. That's 23 seconds faster than the previous leading time from Ida Oeperu. Also in the last meters in the men's race, Marius Pitten from Norway, his time at the last control, 1 hour 30 minutes and 14 seconds. He was 4 minutes and 2 seconds behind there on the last meters here. Punching into the finish, right there. And the time for Marius, 1.31.48, 4 minutes and 2 seconds behind August Molin from Sweden into 4th position. And we can see in the women's class at the arena passage Emma Louise Arneson. We wait for her time at the arena passage. It's one hour, ten minutes and thirty-one seconds. That's a new fourth best time at the arena passage. Three minutes and thirty-five seconds down on the best time here. It's Siri Sutter's one hour, six minutes and 56 seconds.
in the finish. We have Alexander Ivanov from Bulgaria. Time for Alexander. One hour, 53 minutes, 54 seconds. 22 minutes behind Jonas Soldini, who is still leading um, at the first radio controls. And of course, in the finish, the leader, August Molin from Sweden, but soon. We are expecting another good time here at the Arena Passage. We are waiting for Alexandre Bernot from France. His time at the pre-warning, one hour and six minutes, 33 seconds. He was two minutes and four seconds behind August Molin. Oh, behind Jonas Soldini, of course. women's class we can see Anna Girl from Austria approaching the arena passage and her time there is one hour ten minutes and approximately 15 seconds that's a new four spot Three minutes and 14 seconds down on leading Siri Sutte. Anna Girl heading out on the last loop. And now, on the way to the finish, Jonas Soldini from Switzerland, and this is going to be a new best time at the last control. The time for Jonas was 1 hour, 20 minutes and 26 seconds, 5 minutes and 46 seconds faster compared to August Molin from Sweden. And he was leading already at the Arena Passage, and now, all the way to the finish, on the last meters, Jonas Soldini. And this just here at the last meter, 30 meters to go for Jonas. And he is punching right there. And the time for Jonas is 1 hour 21 minutes and 1 hour 22 minutes and 0, zero seconds. So 5 minutes and 49 seconds ahead of August Malin. A big, big lead for Jonas Soldini. In the women's class we have Tuva Olsson from Sweden in a new fifth place to the finish. She's 11 minutes and 55 seconds down on leading Siri Sutte. And at the arena passage you also had the punch from Alexander Verno, but he lost some time there. He is 5 minutes and 14 seconds behind now into third position. So he lost about 3 minutes from the pre-warning to this arena passage.
And at the Arena Passage, we have from Great Britain, Laura King in a new 7 spot. She is 9 minutes and 13 seconds down on the leading time. And in the finish, we have the new leaders, Jonas Soldini. But on the way to the Arena Passage now, Fabian Abersold, also from Switzerland. And Fabian is punching now. And the time for Fabian, one hour, five minutes and 42 seconds. That's a lead by one minute and 55 seconds ahead of Jonas Soldini. So double Swiss in the lead now. Fabian Abersold in, in front of Jonas Soldini. At the Arena Passage, we have a new best time, and it's from Slovakia, Teresa Smelikova. And she is 48 seconds faster than the previous best time, so a very good race from Teresa Smelikova. And on the last meters we have Peter Divin from Hungary. Make it into uh, maybe seventh position. Punching right there. And the time for Peter 132.11, 10 minutes 11 behind Jonas Soldini into seventh position.
In the men's, cl in the men's class to the first radio control. We got the punch from Alistair George from Australia. This time 18 minutes 37 seconds. That's 1 minute and 36 seconds behind the leader Fabian Abersold from Switzerland. And in the women's class we got a uh, punch at the last control and we can see her up there on the run-in it's from Norway Emma Louise Arnesen and she has cut out some time she is approximately two minutes behind and she will probably run into fourth place Norway's Emma Louise Arnesen. She has a running time of one hour and twenty six minutes. And she punches right there. One hour twenty six minutes and seventeen seconds. That's two minutes and four seconds behind the leading time of Siri Sutter in fourth place. At the same time in the men's race we have a new Third best time at the first radio control, Aro Aho from Finland. The time for Aro is 17 minutes and 32 seconds. And that means that he is 31 seconds behind Fabian Abersold, who is still in the lead at the first radio control. At the arena passage from Australia, Julia Gannon. Julia Gannon at the arena passage. She is 9 minutes and 14 seconds behind it, 8th spot. pensarti mentre mi sorridi, la capacità che hai di rasserenare, mi ha insegnato cose che non ho imparato, per il gusto di poterle reimparare, ogni giorno mentre guardo te che vivo, e mi meraviglio di come sai stare, vera dentro un tempo tutto artificiale, nuda tra le maschere di carnevale, 
luce dei miei occhi, sangue nelle arterie, selezionatrice delle cose serie, non c'è niente al mondo che mi deconcentra, non c'è cosa bella dove tu non c'entri, dicono finiscila con questa storia, di essere romantico fino alla notte, certo non ho ragione gente intelligente, ma di aver ragione non mi frega niente. Voglio avere torto mentre tu mi baci, respirare l'aria delle tue narici, come quella volta che abbiamo scoperto, che davanti a noi c'era uno spazio aperto, che insieme si può andare lontanissimo, guardami negli occhi come fossimo, complici di un piano rivoluzionario, un amore straordinario, e non esiste paesaggio più bello della tua schiena. Quella strada che porta fino alla bocca tua Non esiste esperienza più mistica e più terrena Di ballare abbracciato con te Al chiaro di luna e Emozioni forti come il primo giorno Che fanno sparire le cose che ho intorno Cercherò il tuo sguardo nei posti affollati, la tua libertà oltre i fili spinati, non potrai capire mai cosa scadeva quando mi apri la finestra dei tuoi seni, quel comandamento scritto sui cuscini, innamorati resta sempre ragazzina. Io non lo so dove vanno a finire le ore, quando ci scorrono addosso e se ne vanno via, il tempo lava ferite che non può guarire, l'amore senza rete e senza anestesia, c'è un calendario sul muro della mia officina, per ogni mese una foto futura di te, che sei ogni giorno più erotica o mia regina, non c'è un secondo da perdere, e impazzisco baciando la pelle della tua schiena. And now in the blue jersey from France, Alexander Vernou on the way to the finish uh, into a second position, but it will only last for a few seconds because right behind him we can see Fabian Abrisol from Switzerland and this is a clear new best time at the pre-morning. The time for Fabian was 1 hour 17 minutes and 14 seconds. He was 3 minutes and 12 seconds ahead of Jonas Soldini and will now set a new best time in the finish and let's see how, for how long this will last a very good run, he was in the lead and still is in the lead at all the radio controls and first to the finish, uh, Alexander Verneau into a uh, second position but only in, for a few seconds because here we have a new leader Fabian Abrisol to the finish and the time for Fabian, 1 hour 18 minutes and 43 seconds. So the lead over Jonas Soldini is 1 minute and 56 seconds. Uh, 3 minutes and 17 seconds, I'm sorry for that. And uh, Alexander Verno in 54 seconds behind the leader Fabian Abrisol. And now at the Arena Passage from Norway, Henrik Oas into third position. The time for Henrik Oas, 1 hour 11 minutes and 11 seconds. He is 5 minutes and 29 seconds behind Fabian Abersold.
And in the women's class, we soon expect Denmark's Agnes Kach. There she comes to the arena passage. And this will be a new best time. Agnes Kracht, she has, she punches right there and runs over the field. It's new best time of over a minute. One hour, five minutes and ten seconds. That's, no, that's 58 seconds faster than the previous best time of Teresa Smelikova. And speaking of Teresa Smelikova, we got her punch at the last control. So, so she will appear soon on the field, running to the finish. And this will be a new best time at the finish. Teresa Smelikova from Slovakia. A big applause for Teresa as she passes a lot of fans there. Teresa running right there. And she punches at the finish right now and her time is 1 hour 21 minutes and 39 seconds that's more than two and a half minutes faster than the previ previous best time of Siri Sutte and right behind her from Great Britain punched at the finish Laura King in a new seventh spot that's 12 minutes and 60 minutes down. And in a new 7th spot at the finish from Austria, Amna Grill, 9 minutes and 28 seconds down. And now on the way to the arena passage into a new third position, I think. Simon Hector from Sweden punching there. Hit the time for Simon, one hour, nine second, nine minutes and ten seconds. So he's three minutes and 28 seconds behind Fabian Abersold. And about one and a half minutes behind uh, Jonas Soldini, the two Swiss runners. So Simon Hector into a new third position. And uh, inf uh, short information for all the runners, the food is ready in the food tent, so you can go and get some food there. And in the women's class we will have a really clear lead at the arena passage, and it's from Sweden, Clara Axelsson. She has a running time of 1 hour and 3 minutes and 9 seconds at the arena passage. That's 2 minutes faster than Agnes Kracht from Denmark. So a very clear new best time. And a new best time at the first radio control in the women's class. Uh, Kathy Müller from Switzerland is 20 seconds faster there than the previous best time from Clara Axelsson. We can see now running there over the field so a new best time at both the arena passage and the first radio control
And in the men's race at the pre-morning just before the arena passage, we had Toko Seppa from Finland. Time for Toko Seppa, one hour, six minutes and 46 seconds uh, into a fifth position there. So very soon to the arena passage. And now on the way to the arena passage from Finland, Toko Seppa. Punching uh, right there into fourth position. The time for Toko Seppa, one hour, 10 minutes, 27 seconds, four minutes and 45 seconds behind Fabian Abersold. So Toko Seppa into fourth position. Now, at the first radio control in the men's class, a new second best time by Simon E. Mark from Sweden. The time for Simon, 17 minutes, 24 seconds. So he's 23 seconds behind Fabian Abersold. So a good start for Simon E. Mark from Sweden.
In the women's class, we have soon to the arena passage from Finland, Siri Silvenoinen. And she punches right there in a new fourth place, 3 minutes and 25 seconds down on leading Clara Axelsson. Siri Silvenoinen heading out on the last loop. And we know that on the last loop there is from Denmark, Agnes Kracht running out there for 76 minutes, 1 hour and 16. We expect her in around 4 to 5 minutes to the finish. And in around 3 to 4 minutes, we also expect at the arena passage Elian Deininger from Switzerland. And once again, the information for all the runners. Food is ready in the food tent, so you can get go and grab some food. Information for all the runners. The food is ready. And on the way from the last control to the finish from Norway, Henrik Oas. And this is going to be a new third best time for Henrik Oas. At the pre morning, he was 6 minutes and 22 seconds behind the leader Fabian Appersolt. Coming to the finish here on the very last meters and the time for Henrik was 1 hour 25 minutes and 9 seconds so it's 6 minutes and 26 seconds behind the leader Fabian Abersold from Switzerland. In the finish we have a new 14th best time by Kilian Trummer from Austria. Time for Kilian, 1 hour 47 minutes and 9 seconds. 28 minutes and 10 seconds behind Fabian Abrisol. In the women's class to the finish we have from Australia Rebecca George. New 16th best time, 1 hour 54 minutes and 48 seconds. And we have to the arena passage, Elian Deininger from Switzerland. And Elian punches right there and runs over the field. She is in a new second spot. She is one minute and 54 seconds behind Clara Axelsson. 
She heads out on the last loop. And on the same time, we got the punch at the last control from Agnes Krach. But she has to be, hurry up if she wants to beat the best time from Teresa Smelikova from Slovakia in the finish. We can see her up there in the red shirt, Agnes Kart. Agnes is running there, but time is running out on her to beat Teresa Smelikova. She punches right there at the finish. Her time is 1 hour 21 minutes and 46 seconds. That's 8 seconds behind the current leading girl Teresa Smelikova. And also on the last meters in the blue Swedish kit, Simon Hector on the last meters into the finish into a possible third position. The time for Simon Hector at the pre morning, one hour 22 minutes and seven seconds, four minutes 53 behind Fabian Abersold. But maybe a new best time here for Simon Hector. And also in front of Simon from Ukraine, Stanislav Polyanitsia position. First of them into the finish, Stanislav Polyanitsia from the Ukraine. Punching there into with the time 1.32.45 and into third position Simon Hector from Sweden and the time for Simon 1.23.51. 4 minutes and 53 seconds behind Fabian Abersold. And in the women's class, we will have a new best time soon at the finish because we got the punch at the last control for Clara Axelsson from Sweden. And this will be a very clear new best time. Clara running for IFK Göteborg in Sweden, on Sweden's west coast. We can see her running there and this will be the new best time. Give a big applause for her. And Clara on her last meters. And her time is stopped right there. It's one hour, 18 minutes and 43 seconds. That's two minutes and 55 seconds faster than Teresa Smelikova. So a really good new best time. <coughs> and she gave clearly her all there on the run in.
And the Tirina passage from Germany, Ricardo Casanova into 10th position, 8 minutes and 55 seconds behind. And we also got a punch at the last control from Tokuseppa from Finland. Time for Tokuseppa at the pre morning at the last control. 1 hour 23 minutes and 33 seconds, 6 minutes and 19 behind. And we can see him there coming over the hill towards the finish. Toko Seppa maybe into a fourth position. It will be quite tight there with between him and Henrik Oas from Norway. So maybe a fourth position for, for Toko Seppa. Here we got him on the very last meters of this course, Toku Seppa at the running time for him at the moment. Uh, 1 hour 25 minutes. And it's gonna be tight between him and Henrik Oss. Fight for the fourth place there. And the, the time for Toku Seppa. It's a shared fourth position. 1 hour 25.09, 6 minutes and 26 seconds behind Fabian Abersold. class we head to the finish from Poland Veronika Fortuniak into a new 13th position 17 minutes and 41 seconds down on the leading time from Clara Axelsson At the arena passage into sixth position from Czech Republic, Otakar Hirs. The time for him, 1, 12, 15, 6 minutes and 33 seconds behind the leader. Also at the arena passage from New Zealand, Heidi Marie Stolberger. She is into 24th position.
And also in the Reina Passage, we have from Germany into a shared 20th position, Sophie Kraus. Her running time, 1 hour 27 and 21 seconds. And at the Arena Passage, we have a new third best time. It's Jana Pekarova from Czech Republic. She is running very good. She is running 1 minute and 57 seconds slower than Claire Axelsson. But as I said, into a third position right now. And at the same time, we got the punch at the last control from Siri Silvenoinen from Finland. She is running for approximately a fifth or sixth position at the finish. Siri Silvenoinen from Finland at the run in on the very last meters. And her time is stopped right there, 1 hour, 24 minutes and 9 seconds. That is good for a 4th spot behind Clara Axelsson, still leading from Sweden. So the current standing at the finish in the women's class, we have in the lead, in the clear lead, Clara Axelsson from Sweden. In second place, Teresa Smelikova from Slovakia and in third place from Denmark, Agnes Kach. But as I said, Clara Axelsson in a very clear lead. It's almost three minutes that she is faster than the other two women. So I think this will be a time to watch out and the time to beat. And at the same time, we should get ready to make some noise for our Eliane Deininger. She has punched the last control and she is fighting to get into a new second spot. There is approximately one minute of running still remaining, but she will make it into the second spot. Eliane Deininger did very well on the last loop. And you can see her appear now, up there on the field. Eliane running up there. Has previously been fifth in the J-Walk 2019 in Denmark in the long distance. And she gives everything she's got there. Very good race from Eliane. 
and her time stops right there. One hour, twenty minutes. Oh, approximately. Now we wait for the official time. It's one hour, twenty minutes, and forty-nine seconds. That's two minutes and five seconds slower than Clara Axelsson from Sweden. So very good race from Elia. And at the same time at the Arena Passage from Hungary, Mihai Ormai at the running time for Mihai 1.13.10. So he is 7 minutes and 28 seconds behind Fabian Abresold into 10th position. Finish in the men's class from Belgium. Willem Backlands into 16th position. 1 hour 41.35 for Willem. And on the last meters of his course from Germany, Ricardo Casanova, he will be in a new ninth position. Punching right there. And the time for Ricardo. One hour, 29 minutes and seven seconds into ninth position, 10 minutes, 24 behind Fabian Abersold. And at the same time, at the first radio control, we have a new best time. And it's uh, Swiss runner Pascal Buchs uh, having the time of 16 minutes 46 seconds. So he's 15 seconds ahead of.
Fabian Abisold, who is still the leader in the finish here. Very good start for Pascal Buchs. Update on the first radio control, uh, which we neglected a little bit lately. We have there in Forsbad from Sweden, Vilma von Kusenstierna. She is 49 seconds behind the leading time of Katy Müller there. Then we have also Arno Duomista from Finland. Uh, 57 seconds behind and we had from France uh, Lucy Latast she is 1 minute and 2 seconds behind so in 7th spot and they are running approximately at the pace that Elian Dining and also Clara Axelsson are running after 15 minutes and that here in a passage from Great Britain we had Thomas Wolf into new 13th position, the time for Thomas Mann, 15.24. And in women's class we have a Durina passage from France, Tiffen Moulet, she is running there with a time or punching there with a time of one hour 12 minutes and 13 seconds that's nine minutes and four seconds behind the leading time of Clara Axelsson Ja, 
Schmeiß mich aus, halt. Es geht um Style, um eine Haltung. And we head to the finish from Brazil, Kailani dos Santos. So very soon to the arena passage from Finland, Aro Aho, and uh, punching right there into new third position. The time for Aro 108.42, three minutes behind the leader Fabian Appersolt, and one minute and five seconds behind the behind Jonas Soldini who is currently on the second position for Switzerland. So third spot for Aro Aho from Finland. Also on the very last meters from Czech Republic, Republic Otakar Hears uh, maybe into a tenth position uh, the time at the pre-morning at the last control 1.29.07 and uh, punching right here in the finish and the time for Otakar Hears 1.30.39 11.56 behind the leader Fabian Appersold In the women's class, we expect Jana Pekarova from Czech Republic to show up on the hill up there because she punched at the last control, but she lost time. She is almost three minutes more behind than she was at the Arena Passage. And also in the men's class on the very last meters from Hungary, Mihai Ormai into maybe 11th position. And the time for Mihai uh, into sixth position. It was very tight there. 127 24, 8 minutes and 41 seconds behind the leader Fabian Abersold.
And on the last meters, we see Jana Pekeroa, and she punches right there. Her time, 1 hour, 23 minutes and 58 seconds. That's 5 minutes and 13 seconds down on the leading time from Clara Axelsson. But now we will get at the arena passage a new best time and a very clear new best time from Kati Müller from Switzerland and she is running incredibly fast she is more than she is five minutes and 59 seconds faster than currently best time Clara Axelsson at the arena passage she is smashing it out there that is a extremely good time and right behind her we can see from France Lucie Latas she is six minutes and five seconds behind but Katy Miller heading out on the last loop with a very clear lead And we also have found a pair of sunglasses, so if you lost your sunglasses, you can get them back at the speaker wagon. At the finish in the women's race, we have from Ukraine the punch, Svitlana Kobet into new 16th position, 70 minutes and 34 seconds down on the leading time of Clara Axelsson. And now at the arena passage from France into 13th position, Conta Moulet 
The time for Conta, 1 hour 14 minutes and 34 seconds, 8 minutes and 52 seconds behind the leader, Fabian Abersold. And the current standing in the finish in the men's class, uh, still the leader, Fabian Abersold, and the time 1.18.43 on second position. Jonas Soldini from Switzerland, 3 minutes and 17 seconds behind. And on third position from Sweden, Simon Hector, uh, 5 minutes and 8 seconds behind. And on the way to the finish from Great Britain, Thomas Wilson, and uh, maybe into a 13th position. Punching right there, and the time for Thomas Wilson, 1.31.42. Uh, 12 minutes 59 seconds behind Fabian Abersol into 13th position. And on the way to the finish from Finland, Aho Aru. And uh, the time for Aru at the pre morning, 1 hour 21.02. Uh, into third position. Good run here for from Aru Aho from Finland on the last meters in the blue and white jersey. And uh, Aro punching right there into fourth position and the official time for 
into third position and the official time for Aru Aho 1.22.39, 3.56 behind Fabian Abresold. And in the finish, still in the lead, Fabian Abersold. But now we are waiting for a new leader at the Arena Passage. And it is Simon Emark from Sweden punching right there. And the time for Simon 1.05.26. So the lead for Simon Emark is 16 seconds. He was 13 seconds behind at the first radio control. And now his lead is 16 seconds over Fabian Abersold. In the women's class, we have Tilda Gardoni to the finish. She punches right there. That's a new 10th best time. We wait for the time. It's 1 hour 26 and 1 second. That's 7 minutes and 17 seconds behind Clara Axelsson. Meanwhile, Katja Müller has been out there on the last loop. Her running time 68 minutes. So, still 4 to 5 minutes to go until we can expect her here. So in the women's class we are waiting for Katrin Müller from Switzerland. She has been running out there for 1 hour and 11 minutes and we soon expect her to be punching at the last control and then see her running over the field towards the finish and this will be a very clear new best time we think because she had Almost six minutes advantage down to Clara Axelsson. 
And there she appears over there on the field. And this will be the new best time. She is running to beat the time of Clara Axelsson. Clara Axelsson's time at the finish was 1 hour 18 minutes and 44 seconds. And the running time of Kathy Müller is 1 hour 12 minutes and 15 seconds. So this will be a very clear new lead. And she's giving it her all. As we know, the expected winning time for today was 70 minutes. So this is already very close to what the course setters expected. Give it a big round of applause for Katin. Here comes Katrin and she's giving everything she's got. Katrin running there and she punches in a clear new best time. It's one hour, 13 minutes and one second. Five minutes and 43 seconds faster than the previous best time from Clara Axelsson. A fantastic race of cutting. And at the same time we have the George, Alistair George from Australia to the finish into 14th position. 131.42. 12 minutes 59 seconds behind the leader Fabian Abersold. And also at running we have from France. We have from France Lucie Latas. She is running for a third or fourth spot at the finish. We wait for the official time. So, Lucy Latas from Frost into a new third position. One hour, 20 minutes and three seconds. That's seven minutes and two seconds down on the new best time from Katrin Müller. So I'm standing here with Kathy Müller. Congratulations on your fantastic race. Thank you. How was your race? What was your plan and how did it work out? 
Yeah, my plan was to have a good speed from the beginning because I knew that it will be uh, a lot of uh, path running. Um, so I started uh, with a quite high speed and uh, yeah, then it was uh, a good run to the third control. I decided to uh, run around just to get confidence. And uh, yeah, then it went really smooth. Um, when I passed the arena, I knew, yeah, uh, it's a good race, so uh, keep all things together, but I did not manage to, uh, yeah, to attack controls smooth. So I did uh, small mistakes there, but uh, in the end, uh, I did not do a big mistake, so I think uh, quite a solid race, and I'm happy. So what do you think? How long will this take you today? Well, uh, hopefully uh, not to eat chocolate like yesterday. Hopefully today uh, it will uh, be enough for a medal, but we'll see. I mean, there are a lot of uh, strong girls, so yeah, I mean, I did my best and uh, I cannot uh, influence the competitors. Congratulations again and thank you. Thank you. And at the Arena Passage, we have, we have a new fourth best time from Vilma von Kusenstierna. She is in fourth spot, six minutes and 35 seconds behind Kati Müller. Vilma von Kusenstierna, who did a small mistake just before the Arena Passage. Heading uh, there, out on the last loop. And in the finish in the men's race, we have a Quentin Moulet from France into new 16th spot. Uh, the time for Quentin, 1.31.46, 13.03 behind the leader Fabian Abersold. But uh, let's see, in a few minutes, in a few moments, we are waiting for Simon E. Mark, the time for Simon now, 1.17.43, so it's exactly one minute left to beat the time from Fabian Abersold. But we haven't got the punch from Simon yet, now we got it. And the time is 1.17.43. 46, so he has lost time there. He's now 32 seconds behind Fabian Abersold. So I think he's gonna go into second position here. Simon Imark from Sweden. A very tight race between Abersold and Imark. Abersold in the lead at the first radio, then Imark at the Arena Passage, and now it looks like. Uh, that Fabian Abersold was able to get the lead back here in the finish but let's see Simon Imark there on the last meters in the blue and yellow kit from Sweden In a small mistake right after the arena passage on the control right after it getting to the finish now uh, into second position and the time for Simon E. Mark 119 14 31 seconds behind Fabian Abersolz into second position.
And in women's class, we expect Arno Dormister from Finland to come to the arena passage. And you can see her punch right there for a time of one hour, two minutes and approximately 11 seconds. Uh, that's five minutes and one second behind Katja Müller in second spot. Very good race from Arno Tuomisto. And at the first radio control in the men's race, we got a new fourth position for Toppi Syrjelainen from Finland. The time for Toppi 17.28, 42 seconds behind the leader Pascal Buchs. FISU World University Championships im Orientierungslauf 2022 werden von zahlreichen Partnern und Sponsoren unterstützt. Wir bedanken uns ganz herzlich, ganz herzlich bei unserem Presenting Partner der Credit Suisse, unserem Partner der Amman Group, der Mobiliar, Versicherungen und Vorsorge, Kibag Baustoffe, Bauleistungen und Entsorgung in der ganzen Schweiz, Omega Swiss Luxury Watches, sowie bei unserem Getränkesponsor Focus Water, das Schweizer Vitaminwasser und unserem Sicherheitspartner Securitas AG, die Schweizerische Bewachungsgesellschaft.
ich hab dich seit Jahren schon nicht gesehen. Ich wollte nur ganz kurz sagen, dass mir okay ist, wir ein Gästezimmer haben in der WG. Ihr wisst genau, wen ich meine, wenn ich das hier schreibe. Aber ich nenne keinen Namen, Herr Kommissar. Das geht an alle meine Leute aus allen Zeiten. Egal ob Aachen, Bordeaux oder Rojava. Ich denke, da kommen noch ein paar Jahre Ärger auf uns. In the women's race, we head to the finish from Norway, Janne Schöhom Osheim, in a time of 1 hour 23 minutes and 11 seconds, that's 10 minutes and 10 seconds behind leading Katrin Müller. And in the finish in the men's race, Georg Kral from Austria into sec 22nd position. The time for Ge Georg 134.43 into 22nd position. In the women's race, we got to the first radio from Finland, Ida Hapala. She is there in fourth spot, 39 seconds behind Kati Mölle. Ida Hapala, who won the Junior World Championship long distance in Denmark three years ago, and um, is attacking the time of Kati Mölle now. In the women's race, we got the punch from Vilma von Kusenstierna from Sweden at the last control. She is running up there on the field on the run-in. She had a quite a good start and lost some time in the middle part of the race and is now punching approximately six minutes behind Katrin Müller. Wilma approaching the finish right there strongly and I think this will be a new third best time for Wilma and she punches the finish there 
and it's indeed a third place for Vilma. One hour, 19 minutes and 14 seconds. That's six minutes and 13 seconds behind the best time of the current best time, uh, current leading time of Katrin Müller. And in the men's race, we still have the leader, Fabian Appersolt, uh, in front of Simon Imark from Sweden and Jonas Soldini. But we had at the first radio control, uh, the leader there was Pascal Bux. And uh, I think he is on the way towards the arena passage now, but he lost some time at the pre-warning just before the arena passage. He was 2 minutes and 16 seconds behind. So very soon to approach here at the Arena Passage, Pascal Bux currently on third position. And now we have him here, Pascal Bux, on the way to the Arena Passage. The time at the pre-morning, 1.04.28, 2 minutes 16 behind. Let's see how it looks like now. Punching right there. Into third position, 1.07.33, 2 07 behind Simon Imark at that point. And 1.51 behind Fabian Abersold, the leader in the finish and in the women's race we soon expect Anno Tuomisto from Finland to come to the run-in she actually right now she has punched the last control and she, you can see her over there running on the field. And this will be a new second best time for Anu. Anu Tuomisto up there, fighting all the way to the finish. She looks still strong and her running time is 1 hour and 70 minutes. And on the very final meters we have her there and she punches there. It's a time of 1 hour 70 minutes and 27 seconds. That's 4 minutes and 26 seconds behind Kati Müller, but in a clear new second best time. Anu Tuomisto from Finland. And a short message to the athletes and the team leaders. The first bus back to Macklingen will leave at 13.30 instead of 13 due to good weather. So a little bit later, half an hour later, 13.30 and it's 10 minutes to go to the bus station.
And on the last meters from Great Britain, Thomas Alistair, Alistair Thomas. And uh, the time for Alistair. 132.45 uh, into 21st position. From Bulgaria to the finish, in 20th position, Evangelina Diaksova, in a time of 1 hour 30 minutes and 26 seconds. And at the Arena Passage from Israel, uh, Rotem Yasur, uh, the time for Rotem, 117.03 into 23rd position. And at the Arena Passage, we had the punch from Caterina Dallera from Italy. Her time, one hour, sixty minutes and five seconds. And at the arena passage, we expect from Denmark Annika Simonsen, Annika Simonsen Gauci to be precise, and her mother is Swiss, so she may has a little home advantage here. Her time at the arena passage, one hour, two minutes and 27 seconds, that's five minutes and 17 seconds 
behind Katy Müller in third spot. Right between Arno Tormisto in second and Clara Axelsson in fourth. At the arena passage we have from Czech Republic Michaela Dietrichova. She is 60 minutes and one second behind in 25th spot. Heading out there on the last loop. And at the arena passage from Poland, Kasper Kucha punching there into 16th position, 113.54, 8 minutes and 28 seconds behind. And another uh, information for the athletes and the team leaders. So the first bus is leaving at 13.30. Uh, so if you want to catch that first bus, you should start walking towards the bus station. It's approximately 10 minutes to go there. And after that, every hour uh, there will be another bus heading back to Macklingen. And so the first bus at 13.30.
And in the men's race, we are waiting for Pascal Bux, the running time for Pascal, 1.20 and 52 seconds. So the time from Fabian Abersold and Simon Imark. They are already out, but now he's running against uh, Jonas Soldini and Aro Aho. So in about two or three minutes, he should be here. Punching right there in the finish is Cecil Anderson from Great Britain in 18th position, 13 minutes and 41 seconds behind the best time of current best time of Katrin Müller. And now he got the punch from Pascal Bux, but he lost some time. He's now 4 minutes and 47 seconds behind the leader Fabian Appersold into 5th position. And it's quite tight between Pascal and Simon Hector fighting for this 5th position. Uh, Simon Hector right now on 6th spot. And uh, so he lost time here on the last loop compared to Jonas Soldini and Aro Aho. He will not beat Jonas or Aro, but maybe into fifth position. And now he's in there, coming over, running over the field. Uh, he was in the lead at the first radio control. He lost a little bit of time towards uh, during the passage. And uh, another mistake on this last loop takes him into a possible fifth place, but it will be very tight between Pascal and Simon Hector. And at the same time, we also have uh, Ole Hensler at the Arena Passage. But Pascal Bux to the finish. And uh, it's very tight between Pascal and Simon Hector, punching right there. And the time for Pascal is uh, 1.23.40, so fifth place for Pascal Box, four minutes 57 behind Fabian Abersold. And uh, Ole Hensler from Germany into 17th position at the Arena Passage, the time for Ole. 114 12 846 behind the leader uh, Simon E. Mark at that point of the race. And at the first radio control in the men's raid, we have a new leader from France, Mathieu Perrin. And the time for Mathieu, 16.18. So he is 28 seconds faster compared to Pascal Bux. 
and 43 seconds faster compared to the current leader in the finish, Fabian Abersol. information for the team leaders and the athletes so the first bus uh, is leaving towards Muckling in 1330 and it's approximately 10 minutes to walk there to the bus station and then after this one next one is leaving one hour later at 1430 so the first bus leaving in about 18 minutes Class at the finish, we still have Kati Milde in a clear lead for Arno Domisto in second place for Finland, 4 minutes and 26 seconds, and Clara Axelsson in third, 5 minutes and 43 seconds behind. And if we look, who can threaten these times at the first radio control from the last starting runners? We have uh, Ida Hapala, who was there in for 50 minutes and one second, so 40 seconds approximately behind. She is running out there for 42 minutes right now. And we think that Sophie Bachmann will run quite well. And of course, then we have in the end some very strong runners that can challenge, for example, Fiona Bound from Great Britain. Uh, but the next one we expect to the finish is Annika Simonsen from Denmark who was here at the Arena Passage uh, 5 minutes and 17 seconds behind and her current running time is 1 hour and 16 minutes and Katrin Müller at, at the finish, 1 hour and 13 minutes. So we soon expect her to appear on the field. And we got the punch right now at the last control. And you can see her running there with the red shirt over the field. But it's still quite a journey to the finish control. Annika was in third spot at the last control and she maybe if she runs very very fast she can challenge Arno Tuomisto for the second spot but she has a very clear gap down to the fourth spot. Annika Simonsen Gauci give a big applause for her. You can see her approaching the finish control, the very last meters for Annika Simonsen and she punches there in a time of 1 hour 70 minutes and 30 seconds. That's 4 minutes and 29 seconds behind the leading time of Katimul.
And at the arena passage, we got now the punch from uh, Sander Antsen from Norway, punching there in a uh, time of 1.09.40 into 7th position. 4 minutes and 14 seconds behind the leader at that point, Simon Imark. So into 7th position, Sander Antsen from Norway. So the current top 3 in the women's class at the finish. Kati Müller still in first, Anatomy Stoll in second, 4 minutes 24 behind and new third place Annika Simonsen from Denmark, 4 minutes and 33 seconds behind Kati Müller. And in the finish you also got the punch from Rotem Yasur from Israel into 24th position. 134.11 for Rotem Yasur. And the Tirina passage very soon. Martin Rutney from Czech Republic. And uh, Martin is punching there. And the time for Martin 109.20 into seventh position. 354 behind the leader at that point, Simon Imark. We have to the finish from Czech Republic, Michaela Titichova, and from Spain, Nea Gonzalez Peña. They go into 22nd and 26th position, respectively. And for all athletes and coaches, this is the final call for the first bus leaving 13.30. It's about 10 minutes to go there. So if you want to catch that bus to Macklingen, you should uh, head out towards the bus station now. And in the women's class, we soon expect a new possible second best time at the Arena Passage. And it's from Austria, Jasmina Gassner, that is running very well. Her current running time is 1 hour, 1 minute and 30 seconds. 
in we have in current second position right here at the arena Anutomisto with one hour and two minutes and ten seconds so we soon expect her here and I think we can see her yeah there she is approaching the control Yasmina Gassner from Austria doing a very good race and she has sped up she is punching in second position 4 minutes and 55 seconds behind Katrin Müller so she is fighting for the top positions she is right before Anno Domisto and Annika Simonsen and in the finish we got from Poland into 14 Position Kasper Kucha, the time for Kasper 130, 23, 11, 40 behind Fabian Abersold. In the meanwhile, we got a new fourth best time at the first radio control from Czech Republic, Daniel Vandas. And on the last meters here towards the finish, we also have uh, Ole Henseler from Germany. Running time at the last control, 127.47, currently at position 14. So heading towards the 14th position here, Ole Henseler from Germany. Le punching right here and the time for Ole 129.22 into 14th position 10.39 behind Fabian Abersold. In the women's class, all the competitors have passed the first radio and still with the best time standing there is Katrin Müller and second position Clara Axelsson from the runners still running. We have in fourth spot at the first, we had in fourth spot uh, Ida Hapala from Finland, 39 seconds behind. She is running out there now for about 45 minutes and uh, we have in 11th spot Fiona Bond from Great Britain 
We have Anna Isabel Toledo Navarro in 12th spot and we have Eliska Sigloa in 13th spot. All less than one and a half minutes behind and let's keep in mind that's the standing at Radio 1 after 50 minutes. A lot happens after that to the arena passage. So we wait and see what will happen. At the arena passage, we had from Italy Anna Perdel into 14th position, 20 minutes and 39 seconds behind. And very soon to the arena passage, we are waiting for Topi Syrialainen from Finland. At the time for Topi at the pre warning 105.39, there he was in 6th position. And uh, punching right there at the arena passage, still in sixth position, 109.00334 behind the leader at that point, Simon Imark, and uh, 318 behind the leader in the finish, Fabian Abersold. In the women's class, we wait for Ida Hapala to soon come to the spectator uh, to the arena passage. Kathy Miller was punching there with a time of 57 minutes. Ida Hapala's running time right now is 57 and a half minutes. So we wait and see if she can come close and threaten Kathy in there. And we still have a pair of sunglasses here. So if you are missing a pair of sunglasses, you can get them at the speaker wagon. And also on the way to the finish, Sander Anten from Norway, uh, maybe into a seventh position. The running time for Sander at the last control, 122.24. Uh, and he's coming here and punching now. And the time, 123.51. It's a shared sixth position together with Simon Hector. Uh, so 123.51 into 6th position, Sander Arntzen from Norway.
Running time for Ida Hapala is one hour, so she is around three minutes behind. But we can see her approach the arena passage. Ida Hapala from Finland approaching the control at the arena passage. And this will be a new second best time. Ida, the junior world champion from 2019 in the long distance in Denmark, in a bit similar terrain, is punching three minutes and 35 seconds behind leading Kati Müller in second place, heading out on the last loop. Having a little sip of water and getting a go at the last controls. And at the first radio in the men's race, uh, Isaac Jonsson from Norway, punching there in a time of 17.41 into 11th position, 1.23 behind the leader at that first radio control, Mathieu Perrin from France. And a reminder to the team leaders, the entry for the sprint relay tomorrow has been done until 14, uh, so 2 o'clock p.m. at the latest, so at the info point. So a reminder to the team leaders, the entry for the sprint relay has to be done until 2 o'clock p.m. at the latest. At the arena passage. You can see Sofia Sarkozy from Hungary in 20th position. She punched 11 minutes and 13 seconds behind Kati Müller's current leading time. And on the last meters from Czech Republic, Martin Rutny into um, a possible 8th position. Uh, on the last meters here, punching right there. And the time for Martin. Uh, it's 125.06 into 8th position, 6 minutes and 23 seconds behind Fabian Appersold. In the finish, you got the punch from uh, Bojan Ivancikov from Bulgaria into 31st position, 134.59 for Bojan.
in the men's race to the first radio control. We got the punch from Francesco Mariani from Italy. Time for Francesco 18.21, two minutes and three seconds behind uh, Mathieu Perrin into 16th position. And in the women's class, we are waiting for Yasmina Gassner. She is running out there, one hour and 18 minutes running. And we expect her to soon be at the last control. And also we are waiting for Florence Hanauer from France to come to the arena passage soon. And she's running together with Sophie Bachmann, we think. Uh, they should be approaching in the next few minutes the arena passage. running you can see Yasmina Gasser up there fighting she has lost a little bit of time um, on the last loop she is running for a top six spot um, against Vilma von Krusenstierna and Lucy Latas from Frost let's see where she can get her time stops there, 1 hour 19 minutes and 43, 42 seconds, that's a 6th spot, 6 minutes and 41 seconds behind Katrin Müller. And we can see Sophie Bachmann approaching the control for the arena passage and she punches right there in 12 spots 1 hour 5 minutes and 14 seconds that's 8 minutes and 4 seconds behind approximately 3 minutes behind the medal positions and right now we wait for Florence Anauer and there she comes in the blue shirt. Florence Anauer from France. And this is a new sixth best time. Sixth best time for Florence, five minutes and 38 seconds behind the leading time but still in the mix for the medal positions, I think, if she can speed a little bit up on the last loop. And uh, at the same time, we got the punch from Tino Polsini at the first radio control. 18.02, 144 behind the leader, Mathieu Perrin, into 13th position. And uh, now at the arena passage. We are waiting for uh, Friedrich Prima into 18th position, And in the finish now from Finland into fifth position, Toppi Syrielainen. And the time for Toppi 421 into fifth position.
You also got uh, Chaba Gerber to the finish into 38th position, 1943 behind the leader Fabian Abersold. finish in 53rd spot Jessica Colloran from the United States of America and to the first radio in the men's race Viktor Svensk from Sweden punches there in a time of 18 19 2 minutes and one second behind uh, Mathieu Perrin into 16th position Viktor Svensk from Sweden still for Ida Hapala. She right now time runs out for her to beat Kati Müller but she was at the arena passage more than three minutes behind so that was not really realistic but maybe in the next two minutes we get a punch of her at the last controls. The last control. And in the finish from Belgium, Simon Krikels into 27th position, 132.25, 13 minutes and 42 seconds behind the leader. By now we had all the men at the first radio control, so we can give you a short overview over the ranking there. So the leader at the first radio control from France, Mathieu Perrin, his time is 16 minutes and 18 seconds. Uh, second position at the first radio, Pascal Buchs, 1646. And in third, the current leader in the finish, Fabian Abersol, 1701. In fourth, Daniel Vandas from Czech Republic, 1716, and uh, fifth at that point of the race, 1724 for Simon Imark from Sweden. So the top five at the radio control, where all the men have passed now. And in women's class, 
we will have soon a new second best time. It's Ida Hapala from Finland. And she is keeping the pace. She is a little bit three minutes and 54 seconds behind at the last control. But she has half a minute gap to the current uh, second position. So that's still a long way to go, but we are quite sure that this will be enough for Ida Hapala. Ida Hapala is running up there for the current silver medal position. Very strong race. And she giving it all she has left. And she comes right here, approaching the finish control, and she punches there in a time of one hour, 16 minutes and 47 seconds. That's the second position in the women's race, three minutes. 46 seconds behind Kathy Müller. And so far we have not a lot of challengers approaching. So we will check with the last starting favorites. We have Anna Isabel Toledo Navarro, we have Eliska Siglova, we have Fiona Baum who had um, who had a split in the top 10 positions after 50 minutes but it will be hard to challenge the current top three and at the arena, spa, arena passage from Austria Nicolas Kastner uh, in a time of 1.15.40 into 26th position 10 minutes and 14 seconds behind uh, the leader uh, so into 26th position And that pre-warning just before the arena passage, approximately three or three and a half minutes before the arena passage, we now got the punch from Mathieu Perrin and he's still going strong. Uh, he's still in the lead there, 101.40. So the lead is 32 seconds uh, compared to Simon Imark and 53 seconds compared to the current leader in the finish, Fabian Abersold. Uh, so he's still holding the pace there, still going a little bit faster compared to Fabian Abersold. Very soon to the Arena Passage, Mathieu Perrin from France. From Hungary we head to the finish, Sofia Sarkozy in 26th position. But right now we expect soon to come Anna Isabel Navarro Toledo. Toledo Navarro at 
to the arena passage and she has punched right there in 14th position 8 minutes and 13 seconds behind Ana Isabel Toledo Navarro from Spain but she will not threaten the top 10 positions So as I said before, we are waiting for Mathieu Perrin at the Arena Passage, the leader at the pre-morning, and here he is, and he punches the control at the Arena Passage right now, and the time for Mathieu Perrin, 1.04.54, so he's still in the lead, 32 seconds ahead of Simon Imark at that point, and 53 seconds ahead of uh, Fabian Abersold. Uh, so still very strong race by Mathieu Perrin so they're standing there at the arena passage right now uh, in the lead Mathieu Perrin second place Simon Imark and third place the current leader in the finish Fabian Abersold and in the arena passage we have from Czech Republic Eliska Siglova she is currently in 10th position, 7 minutes down on Kathy Müller, but only 2 minutes down to the medal position, uh, 3 minutes down to the medal position, so she can maybe get into the mix. And we had at the punch at the last control from Florence Anauer from France. She is running there with approximately five minutes um, down to Kathy Müller and she will maybe make a diploma but it will be tough to get into the medal spots. You can see her up there in the running, Florence. And right behind her you can see Sophie Bachmann fighting for a spot around top 10 but Florence is running for a top 6 position big applause for Florence and here she fights on her last meters Florence is punching the finish control right there and it's a time of 1 hour 80 minutes and 15 seconds that's currently the fifth spot fifth place for Florence Hanauer and Sophie is punching right behind her that's 11 spot right behind Elian Dining uh, 8 minutes and 24 and in the men's race on the last meters from Poland uh, Frederick Prima uh, into a possible 16th position and is coming here and punching the last control and the time for Frederick is 1.28.49 so into 16th position
to the arena passage. We expect Fiona Bon and she's punching the control right there. And she is in 12th position, 7 minutes and 55 seconds down on Kati Mölle, but only 2 minutes down on the diploma positions. In the meanwhile, we also got a punch from James Ackland at uh, the Arena Passage from Great Britain. Punching uh, in a time of 1.17.28 into 30th position. And another short information regarding the bus. Uh, the bus to Macklingen will leave at th uh, 14.30, so the next bus to Macklingen will leave at 14.30. And uh, if you don't feel, if it's not filled or not at least at two, three quarters full, maybe the departure will be, a delay, will be delayed a little bit. So um, the ones wanting to get to Macklingen in time, next bus 14.30. And from Germany, we have to the arena passage, Birte Friedrichs. Birte currently in 11th spot. She is 7 minutes and 18 seconds down on Kathe Mölder. Because as we said before, it's only 2 minutes to the diplomas. And if she runs very well on the last loop, that's not impossible to do. So in the women's race, current standings at the finish, Kathy Müller in first place, Ida Hapa in second, uh, Anu Tuomisto also from Finland in third, Annika Simonsen in fourth, Florence Hanauer from France in fifth, and Clara Axelsson in sixth, five minutes and 43 seconds behind, and it will be quite tough for the remaining runners to challenge that we don't have many threats left but as my co-speaker always loves to say or his favorite film character it ain't over until it's over
Class from Belgium, Ems Desmoul. She is running for a place in the top 20. Ems Desmoul is running there. And she punches right there. And to we wait for the official time. 19th position, 11 minutes and 46 seconds down on leading Kati Müller. And we had on the arena passage from Sweden, Frida Wikström. She is currently in 19th position, 9 minutes and 15 seconds down on leading Kati Müller. And in the men's race we are waiting for Mathieu Perrin. He was in the lead at the Arena Passage and he has to be here very soon to be a threat for the leader at the moment in the finish, Fabian Abersol. So the running time so far for Mathieu Perrin is 1.17.38 and the leading time in the finish 1.18.43. So he has to be at the last control very soon if he wants to beat the best time from Fabian Abersol. But we haven't got the punch yet from Mathieu Perrin. And now we got it. 1.17.57. So he's now behind Fabian Abersold in third position. So he's also behind uh, Simon Imark. Uh, he lost some time here on the last loop. He had, did some mistakes at the third last control. Uh, but very soon to the fi finish. It's still quite tight regarding the second position. So Mathieu Perrin, the leader at the first radio control, the leader at the second radio control, and the arena passage, now a little bit behind. And here he is on the last meters, the time at the pre-morning, 1.17.57, the leading time in the finish, 1.18.43. So the time to beat uh, Fabian Abersold has been running out. Uh, the running time for Mathieu Perrin, 1.19.20 so far. So in the very last meters here, heading into towards a third position. And he is punching right there. And we get the official time very soon. So uh, Mathieu Perrin into third position. 1.19.31. 48 seconds behind Fabian Abersold. And I think he did a uh, few small mistakes in the very end at the third last control. Um, so he was leading all the way towards this uh, third last control. And now into third position. In the women's race, we have from Czech Republic, Eliska Siglova. We had her at the last control and now we can see her up there at the run-in. She is running for a top 10 position. It's a tight fight to get in there. And she is running together with Ana Isabel Toledo Navarro from Spain. And they both approach the finish control and we see her punching the finish right there and Eliska Siglova 
goes into ninth spot, 6 minutes and 43 seconds behind Katja Müller. And Anna Isabel Toledo Naro goes into 15 spot, 9 minutes and 55 seconds behind. And in the men's race, the next runner we are waiting for at the Arena Passage is uh, Daniel Vandas from Czech Republic. Uh, this time at the pre-morning, 1.03.57, 2 minutes and 17 seconds behind Mathieu Perra in 4th position. So the next runner to the Arena Passage uh, in a short while. Now at the Arena Passage, Daniel Vandas from Czech Republic uh, into fourth position. 10701, two minutes and seven seconds behind Mathieu Perra. Uh, but we know that Mathieu Perra lost some time here on the last loop. So compared to Fabian Abersold, he is uh, 111 behind. In the women's class, the current top six at the finish. Katja Müller in first place, Ida Hapala in second place from Finland and also from Finland, Arno Tuomisto in third. In fourth, Annika Simonsen from Denmark. In fifth place, Florence Anauer from France. And in sixth place, Clara Axelsson from Sweden. And we don't see anyone left being a threat towards D6 but it's a dangerous game to play so we just wait and see what the remaining runners can do to challenge them. On the way to the finish from Great Britain, James Ackland uh, in a possible 32nd position. Um, James Ackland from Great Britain on the very last meters here towards the finish. And also uh, from Great Britain on the run in is Fiona Bon, but she will not manage to challenge the top 10 positions. She's a little bit too much behind, probably into 12th or 13th position. Fiona Bon running up there, cheered on by many fans. And passing her mates right there, and she's giving everything she's got left. Fiona Van from Britain. There she comes and she punches the finish right there. And that is a new 12th position. 8 minutes and 12 seconds behind. So, uh... Reminder for the athletes and the coaches, next bus uh, is supposed to leave at 14.30. So if you want to catch that bus, uh, you should start walking towards the bus station now. Uh, there might be a small delay if the bus is not uh, full. So everyone, 
who wants to be in Macklingen in time, uh, should get to this pass now, And at the run-in from Germany is Birte Friedrichs and she is almost challenging for a top 10 position. She has punched last control and she has some 200 meters left to the finish. Talking about German athletes, Erik Döhler at the Arena Passage, a time for Erik 1.15.41 into 29th position, 10.47 behind the leader. And Birte Friedrichs is running towards the finish of the very last meters and she punches the finish right there. And that's a time of 1 hour, 21 minutes and 17 seconds. That's a 13th spot right behind Fiona Baum. She said no! 
And we have from Sweden at the run-in, Frida Wikström. She is running for a top 20 position. Frida. And we can say she's one of the last threats for the top 10. And Frida will punch very soon. There she punches at the finish. And that's the 17th position for Frida Wikström from Sweden. 9 minutes and 25 seconds down on Katrin Mulle. And at the arena passage now, Isaac Jonsson from Norway. And the time for Isaac 109.31 into 11th position, 4.37 behind the leader at the arena passage, Mathieu Perrin. But we know that Mathieu Perrin is not the leader in the finish. Um, so it's not exactly that uh, 4.37 he is behind on the leader in the finish. And uh, we have to punch now at the last control from uh, Daniel Vandas and it's a good race by the runner from the Czech Republic. He punched there into fourth position so very soon to come here to the run-in. Daniel Vandas from Czech Republic, the time for Daniel at uh, the last control, 1.19.47. He will not be able to beat Mathieu Perrin but uh, he has a good chance to beat Jonas Soldini, so maybe into fourth position uh, for Daniel Vandas from Czech Republic. And running together with him in the running is from Denmark, Lotte Aoyerwi Markusen. She is running for a top 20 position. And Daniel Vandas here on the last meters and uh, punching in the finish right there into fourth position and in a time of 1.21.17, 2 minutes 34 behind Fabian Abersold uh, and uh, roughly 2 minutes behind the medals. So fourth position for Daniel Vandas from Czech Republic. And Lotte Markusen was punching in 20th position, 10 minutes and 17 seconds behind Kate Mulle. And we are sure that nobody will take the medals away from the top three anymore. It's Kate Mulle in first place, Ida Hapala from Finland 
in second and also from Finland Anno Tuomisto and currently in the diploma places in fourth place Annika Simonsen in fifth place Florence Hanauer and in sixth place Clara Axelsson and we don't see any threat left for these positions either And in the men's race, the next runner who will be a threat for the top 10 here at the Arena Passage is uh, Francesco Mariani from Italy. He has now been running for a bit more than 107 and he will be here very soon into a possible 10th position. So uh, quite a good race from Francesco Mariani from Italy. At the arena passage, we got the punch from Daniel Pompura from Slovakia. And the time for Daniel 117.18 into 34th position. Uh, 34th position for Daniel Pompura from Slovakia. And now at the Arena Passage, uh, Francesco Mariani from Italy. And he punched there in a time of 109.11 into 10th position. Uh, only a few seconds ahead of Martin Rutni from Czech Republic. So this is going to be a tough fight for the top 10. But also in front of him, there is uh, good space to maybe climb up a little bit in the result list. So good race so far for Francesco Mariani from Italy. And the uh, next runner we, wait, we are waiting for here at the Arena Passage, Viktor Svensk from Sweden. And this might be a runner who still can be a threat for the top three. He is uh, 138 behind uh, at the pre-morning, but uh, still uh, a chance there to get the medal into fourth position right now. Uh, so very soon to the Arena Passage. And we got also the punch from Tino Pausini, but he punched into 17th position, so I don't think that he will be a threat for the top 10 today.
And now on the way to the arena passage, Viktor Svensk, and he's punching there into fourth position, 106.15. But we know that the leader, Mathieu Perrin, he lost about 136 on this last loop. So there's still a chance for Viktor Svensk to get a medal in this race. Uh, so with a very good final loop here, he can still be in the fight for the medals. On the way to the finish from Germany, Erik Tüller. And the time for Erik, 131.13 into position 23. Uh, 23rd position for Erik Tüller. And at the arena passage from Switzerland, Tino Polsini, 1-10-16, 5-28 behind the leader into 17th position. In the women's class, we have from Norway, Tilla Farnes Hennum. To the finish and she punches right there and she goes into a new we wait still for the confirmation 34th position 1 hour 28 and 11 seconds and there's only one woman right there right out there still running the course it's Amber Rose Riddle from New Zealand and she will not be able to challenge the top 20 so it's getting more and more official we still have Katin Müller in a very clear lead and she will be the new university world champion in the long distance in second place we have Ida Hapala in third place Anu Tuomisto and we still have the same three girls on the places four to six. Annika Simonsen from Denmark, Florence Hanauer from France and Clara Axelsson from Sweden. The men's race uh, far from over uh, until now. So we have everyone, all of the men uh, have passed at the arena passage and the leader there, Mathieu Perrin. But we know that he lost time uh, on this last loop, 1.36. Uh, Mathieu Perrin, uh, second place at the Arena Passage, Simon Imark, and third place there, Fabian Alpersolt, the current leader in the finish. And Viktor Svensk, still out there, is a threat uh, for sure for the medals. He's only 33 seconds behind the leader, uh, Fabian Alpersolt, at the Arena Passage. So, still a chance for Viktor Svensk to be fighting for for any color of the medal here today. And we also have uh, Francesco Mariani left out there, maybe a threat for the top 10 uh, in 11th position at the Arena Passage. And the time up there to the top 10 is only one second uh, right now. Simon Hector there at the Arena Passage on the 10th position.
And uh, on the way to the finish from Norway, Isak Jonsson. At the time, 1.23.22 at the last control, maybe into an 11th position. Uh, he will be outside the top 10, but maybe 11th position for Isak Jonsson from Norway. And the time for Isaac, 1.24.54 into 11th position, 6 minutes and 11 seconds behind Fabian Abersold. And Francesco Mariani now has been out for 1.19 and 20 seconds. Uh, if he wants to be a threat for the top 10, it's about uh, three minutes left to punch the last control. So uh, in about three minutes we expect him to be there if he wants to be a threat for the top 10 today. And uh, Viktor Svensk uh, Maybe the only one who be, can be a threat for the medals. Uh, he has been out for 1.14. Uh, if he wants to beat the medalists, he should be there in about 3 minutes, 4 minutes as well uh, at the last control. So first we expect Francesco Mariani to be there and then quite close afterwards uh, Viktor Svensk as well. So we're still waiting for Francesco Mariani, but I think he's a bit late if he wants to make it into the top 10. Uh, the time from... Simon, Hector and uh, Sander Anson. I think it has been running out now, at least at the last control. So I don't think that uh, Francesco Mariani will make it into the top 10. The time to make it into the top 10 is 1.23.51 and Francesco Mariani has been out for 1.23.09 now. So I don't think he will be a threat for the top 10 here. Uh, so we are waiting as well for Viktor Svensk uh, on the way towards this last control and maybe 
a threat for the three men on the medal positions right now. Now we got the punch from Francesco Mariani, but he's late, 123.30. Uh, so he's uh, 6 minutes and 16 seconds behind the leader, Fabian Abersolz, into 12th position. Uh, maybe a chance to get on this 11th spot uh, where we have Isaac Jonsson right now from Norway. But no top 10 for Francesco Mariani and we are waiting still for Viktor Svensk. On the last meters here, Francesco Mariani from Italy. And the time for Francesco right now, 124.56. And he is punching right there. And the time 125.05 into 12th position for Francesco Mariani from Italy. 6 minutes 22 behind Fabian Abersolz. The winner of today's race because uh, Viktor Svenski is late. He is not going to be a threat for the three medalists. So he will be outside the top three today. We are still waiting to get the punch from Victor at the last control. So Victor Svensk has been out now for 1 hour 20 minutes and 20 seconds. He's outside the medal positions. The time from Mathieu Perrin, 1.19.31. Uh, the time from Daniel Vandas on 4th position from Czech Republic, 1.21.17. So if he's there very, very soon, there might be a chance. But I think he's late for this time as well. And on 5th position, Jonas Soldini, 1.22. He has 1.15 left to beat the time from Jonas Soldini. But still, we have not gotten the punch at the last control from Victor Svensk. But uh, we have the punch from Tino Pausini. And now we got the punch from Victor Svensk. And he is in sixth position right now. 3.36 behind the leader, uh, Fabian Abersold. Behind the winner, Fabian Abersold. And... Uh, is maybe going in into a sixth position and uh, we can see in front of him Tino Polsini from Switzerland fighting for a 12th position here he might beat uh, Isaac Jonsson on 13th right now or at this 12th position right now So first in here, Tino Pausini punching finish right there and the time for Tino. 124.54 into 11th position, a shared 11th position together with Isaac Jonsson from Norway. And now we get the last starter here into the finish, Viktor Svensk from Sweden. He didn't make it in the top three, lost a bit of time on the last loop here and punching there into 
6th position in a time of 1.22.23, 3 minutes and 40 seconds behind the winner. Uh, so we can now say that today's winner and the gold medalist from this University World Championships from Switzerland, Fabian Abersold in a time of 1.18.43. Second place and silver medalist from Sweden, Simon Imark, 31 seconds behind Fabian Abersold and on bronze position from France, uh, Mathieu Perrin, 48 seconds behind the winner all three of them within one minute of time. The other runners in the top ten in the men's class, Daniel Vandas, Czech Republic on fourth, uh, Jonas Soldini on fifth, Viktor Svensk from Sweden on sixth, Aro Aho from Finland on seventh, and uh, Topi Syrielainen from Finland on 8th position. Pascal Brooks, Switzerland on ninth position. And then a shared top 10 position, 10th place there for Sander Arntzen and Simon Hector. Those the top 10 runners from today's long distance. In the women's class, we repeat the top 10. New World University Champion in the long distance is from Switzerland, Kati Müller. She did a great run in second place, Ida Hapala from Finland, 3 minutes and 46 seconds behind. In third place, Anu Tuomisto from Finland, 4 minutes and 26 seconds behind. Then in fourth place, we have Annika Simonsen. In fifth place, we have Florence Hanauer from France. In 6th place we have Clara Axelsson from Sweden. In 7th place Vilma von Kusenstierna from Sweden too. In 8th place we have Jasmina Gastner from Austria. In 9th place we have Eliska Siglova from Czech Republic. And in 10th place we have Lucy Latast from France. Just outside the top 10 is Elian Deininger in 11th spot from Switzerland. FISU World University Championships im Orientierungslauf 2022 werden von zahlreichen Partnern und Sponsoren unterstützt. Wir bedanken uns ganz herzlich bei unserem Presenting Partner der Credit Suisse, unseren Partnern Amman Group, der Mobiliar, Versicherungen und Vorsorge, Keybag, Baustoffe, Bauleistungen und Entsorgung in der ganzen Schweiz, Omega Swiss Luxury Watches, sowie bei unserem Getränkesponsor Focus Water, das Schweizer Vitaminwasser und unserem Sicherheitspartner Securitas AG, die Schweizerische Bewachungsgesellschaft.